gets there, but Ross Clark does really well. And if he can find the run of Paul Heatley, which he does, Paul Heatley looks like he's one on one with the goalkeeper. Aidan Wilson is coming back. He just cuts inside and finds Adam Leckie, who puts the Crusaders 1 0 up. It looked like the opportunity has passed Paul Heatley, but he kept on his feet. He puts the ball in, and Adam Leckie was there just to head that in to an empty net. Fantastic counter attack by Crusaders. Paul Heatley gets in behind. And as you say, it looks like he's maybe missed the opportunity, cuts back, plays a great ball in to Adam Lecky, who's right place, right time, 1-0. Yeah. No, a class act. Ball in now, and it is going to be Perkis, who has stayed on side, and first time with his left foot, he finds the bottom corner, and once again, just a ball over the top, Nathan, and Glenn Torn now have found themselves level. Just either have a throw-in from... And their own half. Clark finds Philip Laurie if he can get the ball out of his feet. He does, but McCarry was off his line really well. Clark might get a second chance at this. He clips the ball in. <laughs> Good header out by McLean. Thompson finds the feet of Jude Winchester. It's now Crusaders turn to turn the screw. O'Rourke finds Paul Heatley. Oh, and just play that one short. And it was Reese Marshall who done well just to pick that loose ball up. It's the first corner of the game now for, for Crusaders. Plenty of men that aim towards, it's Ross Clark, plays it deep in towards Chris Hegarty who gets there and it is a goal for Chris Hegarty. The ball was played in perfectly from Ross Clark. Chris Hegarty gets there in front of his man. It looked for a second like McCarry was going to get there but he could only knock it onto the post and the ball goes over the line. Not great free kick goal, Murray. Teasing ball in towards the back and for Scythe I think it was done really well. He stays down. Billy Joe Burns just cuts inside but out now to Murray and takes a wicked deflection there. I think it was off Winchester and Tuffy done well just to follow that ball because it could have went anywhere. Be man yeah. on man here. It's hard. Teasing ball played in. Tuffy comes out there and didn't need to collect it. Ross Clark does really well. As too does Paul Healy if he can get the run of Reese Marshall which he does but Reese Marshall does well just to track back for Scythe, ball played towards Leggy and just comes off there and out to Paul Heatley and oh and McCarry just spilt that there as Paul Heatley just turned in that one, it actually looked like Ross Clark maybe was going to follow it in and maybe Aaron McCarry had one eye on that and maybe thought that Ross Clark was coming in but for Scythe, ball played towards Leggy and just comes off there and out to Paul Heatley and oh and McCarry just spilt that there as Paul Heatley just turned in that one, it actually looked like Ross Clark maybe was going to follow it in and maybe Aaron McCarry had one eye on that and maybe thought that Ross Clark was coming in but Clark, another teasing ball played in, it's Chris Hegarty, is there again and this time it's McCarry off the line but what a he bullet header there and the Glentorn player has now went down but what a header from Chris Hegarty on so early but good header there from out to Lackey and he just drags his shot and there was great work there from Ross Clark and <laughs> He has to make the goalkeeper work, Nathan, doesn't he? It's a great header by Ross. Fantastic first touch by Adam Leckie. McCarry, it's a loose pass, but Wilson done well to find it, but only as far now as O'Rourke. He plays a clip ball in towards Paul Heatley. Goes first time trying to find Adam Leckie. If he can just find someone which lays it off. And I think, I think it was Ross Clark was probably in a better, a better position. Another opportunity there for, for Crusaders on the... Ball in towards the back. Good header there. And it's BJ but out now. And oh, it goes through the legs. I think it was. I'm not sure who got the final touch, but Glen Torn have pulled one back. And I don't know if it, the ball has taken a, a touch away from Johnny Tuffy because it looked like a routine. A routine save. Peter's now come out with the ball. O'Rourke just throws it in towards Lecky. Does well to get ahead to it. And ball now comes out to Philip Laurie. And Forces the keeper to make a great save, great turn and twist there from Crusaders top goal scorer Philip Laurie, and he asked questions there of McCarry, and he had to deal with it. And O'Rourke played in towards Lecky if he can get his head to it, and does come smashing off the bar. Probably just headed that down into the ground, which in some ways was the right thing to do, but just too much elevation on it, and comes back now to Lecky overhead kick, and it is in by Chris Haggerty once again for his second goal of the afternoon. But Adam Leckie, not once but twice, keeps the ball alive. 
And it's now Crusaders 3, Glen Torn 2. Adam Lecky who does really well to cushion that in. Great play by Adam Lecky, finds Paul Healy now down this left hand side. Up against Aidan Wilson once again. Still Paul Healy comes inside, going to get the shot away. And just probably lacking venom there, but great play from Adam Lecky, Philip Laurie. With the free kick played in, but Lecky gets something on it. Out now to Jordan for Scythe. Still pinballing around. Forsyth gets ahead to it, but McLean's there just to tidy it up. Ross Clark needs to get up against Perkis. Does. Comes out now to Jordan Forsyth once again. Slips it through to Adam Lecky. Inside. Still Adam Lecky. And what a save from Aaron McCarry, who, who was off his line. Narrowed the angle and drew the save from Adam Lecky. But great football again and great Very defending there. Today, you know, last week it was back to the wall, but he's continued that sort of the character to show and, and get over the line today. Yeah, brilliant. Uh, obviously, we had a good result last week, but it means now if you don't back it up. And these big games where you're playing, the boys in around you, you need to get wins. So, delighted yeah. to get three points today. There's been a lot of talk around, probably in particular, the last few weeks around injuries and, and players not being able to play and so forth. but. That hasn't been an excuse within the camp. And, and, and I'm delighted at camp. <laughs> you know, to be fair, the midfield three all the year, Jordy, Jude and uh, Philly, have been standouts. So for me, I haven't, obviously I've had my injuries, but I haven't had the chance. And uh, the, obviously with injury comes a chance. And uh, yeah, not just myself, there's, there's loads of boys coming in. Decky Goodell is off the beach, you know what I mean? And so now we're delighted. There's no excuses. Uh, like I say, I was saying in there, there's, with a sc strong squad. And uh, no, next man up. How difficult was today's game? Obviously, they get your nose in from within five minutes. Glen Torn then then respond I think within a minute and a half. But you kept pushing and yeah. they get those goals. And then even in the second half, they come back and equalise. But yeah, I think the when it goes to each end, you're thinking they're crowd. Obviously, they're a good crowd in the day, and it starts getting up. But I've noticed our crowd actually this past couple of weeks have been really really noisy. And it's been great. And uh, yeah, when we get the third, you think we're going to see us out today, you know. So. I just want to ask you, Gary, about about the changing room because I know keep going on the, the last week, but we've seen last week, we've seen today, and and there does seem to be this real togetherness to get over the line and this hunger to to go out and play and fight for each other. What's it like inside the changing room? No, I think whenever you get the wee injuries and or you know the results that don't go your way, that's where you see. And I think you've been in the changing room a couple of the way games. You see what characters will have there, like. And I think this past couple of weeks is you know. Maybe people aren't talking about us much, and that's fine. But it's just showed, you know, there's a there's a good team spirit in there, and uh, like I say, you've seen it. Uh, you know, the boys are together in there at the moment, and uh, long may it continue. Just personally, Gary Nathan Hanley was on commentary today, and I think he he said as the longer the game went on, it was us starting to see Gary Thompson being back again. I know it's a real difficult road back from injury, but how are you feeling? Uh, yeah, this past few weeks, I've I've really started to feel back to my back to myself. Obviously, it takes time, you know. Uh, even when I've been coming back, I've, I've been picking up wee knacks and stuff, but this past couple of weeks I've really been able to go away from the the, the Crusaders training and do my own stuff, which is what I'm used to doing. And uh, it's took a long time to get back there, but I think you can see this past couple of weeks I started to have a wee skip and step, and uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully I can stay on the team. Brilliant, thank you very much indeed, Gary. Well, 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 the players unavailable and how hard it's been over the last few weeks to, to get bodies up for playing. You must be absolutely thrilled with the performance and the result today from the team. You know, we're, we're, we're super excited, I suppose, with the response of uh, probably the, the 12 fit men that we have at the football club because every single one of them were, were just either coming back from an injury for three or four weeks or four or five months. And to go out and give that level of performance and bleed for the shirt the way they did today and the manner of their performance was just fantastic, amazing performance. And they, they were at it from the get go. I, I knew from the from the off that we were we were right at it. We were chasing Glen Torn down to win that football match. We were ahead in the game um, at all times. We we let them back in. It was soft goals, I thought, and and then we had ones cleared off the line. And we were just, we were just superb in our in our attitude, our performance, our desire. It was all first class here today, and and we ran out worthy winners, you know. So in the round, you know. With the, the problems that we've had now, Macaulay has gone down with having to get an appendix uh, removed overnight, and uh, Charlie Murphy, who not, not well, or one of our coaches, and uh, just you know, just one thing after another. But when you, you you sometimes have to deal with those those things that come your way, and to give the manner of performance that Crusaders boys expect and I expect to, to give it to that level against a very very hot Glen Torn team uh, uh, speaks volumes for who they are and what they do. You mentioned last week is sometimes when you're back to the wall do you maybe see the true grit and determination and character of a team and 
I, I suppose the Gary Thompson about the camaraderie that, that goes in, but it, it looked today and, and they often say about football that you can have all ability in the world but you've got to have hard work and, and sticking together. 100%, that's, uh, that's what you come to expect when you come to a club like this, uh, is, is camaraderie and people stay, staying together and working hard. And when, you're, when your back is to the wall, you know, sometimes the only way is to come out, out swinging. And, and I felt in our performance at Windsor, we had to work out a, a method of trying to get some out of the game. We did that. And I thought today that in, in our team selection and how what bodies we had available to us, we were able to put a shape in the day that was, was, that was strong, had cut an edge uh, and had that ability to score goals and I thought everybody to a man played their part and it was a good job we didn't overstretch it because we didn't have an awful lot left after uh, you know when we, we started going down into the bones you know. Getting an early goal obviously hit with a sucker punch I think a minute and a half after and, and Glenn Thorne equalising you know they're yeah. going to come at you but was there times maybe in the game where when they did come back that's maybe where we've seen the best football being played from Crusaders? Yeah, possibly uh, you know you have to just give credit to the players in the round, they've got to play it as they say it and, and work it all out. But you, had, you just had super performances there today. You know, Healy was on fire and Jarlett down that side and Ross Clark was lively down, down his side and Joey Forsyth backed them up superbly well. You know, but Christopher Hegarty and BJ, my word, they dealt with everything. They played a 3-5-2 and they knocked the ball long. It's not like them. Uh, and, and we were able to put our head on things and deal with all the balls that came down our neck. Uh, so that was that was good in the round, and, and I thought we were comfortable here today in, in our performance. Just finally, Stephen, obviously when the when the final whistle goes on a big occasion like this, but you've talked a lot about the team effort, but the supporters today as well, and, and being on that side and almost like a twelfth man today. Oh, beyond! And you know the response from the fans today was just immense. Just honestly, we can hear all of that, and, and that and the rousing support uh, from behind the goal and above my head just. Belting it out and it lifted the, the fan, it lifted the team, drove us all on and, and, and willed us to the win. Because you know, when that clock's ticking down, you're getting a ball down your neck, is the way we were. You have to suck it out of there, and they did that for us. So I hope they have a great night and enjoy themselves, because we certainly will wear out for our Christmas party. So enjoy it all. Thank, Thank you very much.